This is Fisher Stoles, and Fisher Stoles um, teaches also at Bradley University, is from Peoria, and um, he has the distinction of being the very first artist on the very first sculpture walk to sell his artwork. And his sculpture back then um, was very similar to this. He uses steel as his main elements and materials that he constructs his art out of. But this is a unique piece. This is Hippocampus, and it is his first representation representational piece. We have Hippocampus, which is actually the derivative for the seahorse. And if you look closely, all of these arcs put together create a seahorse. And one of the things that he has always done is he uses the, the circular or the arc in making all of his things. You will see that there's not one piece of steel that is straight. Everything has been curved. And I actually kind of teased him. I said, oh, is it just because it's easy? And he says, it is the hardest thing in the world to bend those to get them perfectly. But what he does is he starts to construct. He always uses a circular base of some sort to, to secure his piece to the ground, to whatever the surface is. And then he moves himself upward. And here we have this wonderful idea with these large, long arcs that create the body of the seahorse. And we have here where he's added some elements and it's obviously the horse, a horse's head that we have there. He comes back down and we have this wonderful display of, of energy and movement all because that's where the, the, the tail is. Being true to the fact, I don't know, I'm not a scientist or uh, anything like that, but if you notice, seahorses only are vertical. <laughs> so here we have this wonderful thrust that goes upward in the sky in this case instead of the water and secures um, the piece really well into its, its um, position here on the sculpture rock.